What is up guys, Skies from TTG or OG Scrap here from Xbox Live. But today I'm gonna be showing you guys a sick tutorial. It's a sliding it's a sliding door animation and uh you can basically use this for your TTG avatars. Um avatars on various different forum sites or I don't know, maybe you just want to make this for fun, but let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Um let's see. Here it is right here basically sliding door animation uh... let me show you guys one more time uh, there we are sliding door animation pretty sick and i'm gonna show you guys how to be making this so um... yeah uh... i'm sorry if i sound a little bit tired i just woke up not too long ago and i just got done doing that other tutorial but what you want to do is open up photoshop there we go I'm using uh, Photoshop CS6 extended. Uh, it doesn't really matter which uh, one you use. But yeah. <clears throat> All right. So you want to open up your TCG avatar dimensions. I use 200 by 200. Some people use 150 by 150, but it doesn't really matter. And uh, you want to uh, just fill this in with whatever you. I don't know. Make your avatar how you want it. I'll just set up a little. I don't know avatar. Um, set up just a. Uh, just for the sake of the tutorial I don't know and I'll just put like what a red overlay and I don't know I'll add an inner shadow to that I don't know there we go that's that part and then I'll put like a little text in there uh, pictures graphics let's see I don't know let's just use this text I like the way it looks I know uh, red and yellow don't really go good together but you know whatever and there we are so let's say you have your avatar done and you want to add the little sliding doors and this is really simple but I also made this up on my own I found how to do the sliding doors out on my own and yeah what you want to do is half of that probably right there in the middle and then you want to add a color overlay I don't know let's just do a white overlay and I'm gonna do a stroke and then probably like a pattern overlay uh, I don't know let's see how this one looks oh yeah I, I forgot you can't use a pattern overlay whenever you do a color overlay so let me just go ahead and oh I better do this quick so rasterize the layer of course and then now you want to go back to your pattern overlay and then you want to go right here and put that to overlay and then I'm gonna add an inner shadow with a little bit of choke and there we go so now you got that one side done and you want to name this left door then you want to duplicate that layer you want to slide this over and as you guys can see that one part is black but that's because I didn't fill that part in but I can just fix that really easy by applying that and then going back to here and doing that so yeah there we go so once you have both your doors done we want it to open so what you want to do is go to your timeline and you guys may notice that you probably don't have the timeline so you want to go to windows then you want to go to timeline switches it on and off and it may show up looking like this you just click on this to fix it the little three boxes down at the bottom and you want to set this to no delay and then you want to create a new frame and then on that new frame you want to slide these doors open I'm just using the arrow keys and I like having it to where the door shows a little bit but you can have it to where the show the door like slides off completely and there we go so yeah and these are the two frames right here so what you want to do is click on the first frame and then you want to click right here on these three little I don't know it's like a line of frames going 
and it's right by the frame button you want to click on this right here and you want to add probably like 20 frames to what I usually do and let's put this on forever and let's play and there you go that's the sliding doors and sometimes if you don't want it to keep sliding like that you can go down right here and then you're gonna put this on like five seconds and this will pretty much keep it from doing what it just did and it freezes and it waits five seconds before it does it again so yeah guys um, that's the photoshop tutorials i hope you guys enjoyed